are working on the microcontroller series all of you already know and this is lecture 2 those who have not seen my previous lecture but please go and see the lecture 1 for 8051 microcontroller series now the today's agenda for discussion is what is embedded system now when you talk about the definition of embedded system it is a system developed for a, for a dedicated task now what mean by dedicated task let us compare this with the personal computer. All of us know that personal computer can do the versatile ta uh, task. Like we can uh, program uh, on personal computer, we can play games, we can take a printout, we can browse, the, we can go and do the surfing, we can see the websites, internet and so many things. So personal computer is a versatile thing. So personal computer can do many tasks, even we can do most of the tasks parallel okay we can listen music at the same time we can do some editing so that is what the personal computer is but let us discuss the embedded system embedded systems are systems those are developed for a particular task now what are the example let us take an example of printer now what is the purpose of printer to take a printout so we are not using printer for any other uh, versatile ta any other task like pc washing machine so to wash the clothes of course there will be some menus we have to select uh, from a given menus only and we can work on that washing machine okay the washing machine will wash our clothes similarly modem we use a modem nowadays uh, everybody is on internet so modem is a kind of a uh, you can say embedded system even your mouse keyboard are embedded systems those are doing some dedicated tasks those all have internally mostly microcontrollers in your mouse there may be a microcontroller in your keyboard there will be a microcontroller in your washing machine there will be a microcontroller so the brain of that system will be microcontroller most of the times sometimes some systems can use microprocessors as well okay so inside there may be microcontroller microprocessor but majority of embedded systems use microcontrollers because microcontroller give, give us a single chip solution we can have many different things in a single chip and that will save our space that will save our cost and so many things and that that much system that means memory will be sufficient for that particular task so we don't need to have a bulky motherboard where there will be microprocessor and other chips interface okay but yes, there may be some embedded systems, those will use microprocessors as well, that we will discuss as we go on discussing. So, we will come uh, on these topics later on. Now, just we have compared what embedded system with PC. So, we understood that PC is a versatile, whereas embedded system is meant uh, to do some dedicated task. Now, we will be discussing in next lecture, we will be discussing, uh, we will start actually the 8051. Which, we, which can be used for development of embedded system. So, we will discuss its features, block diagrams and all those things. Okay. So, thank you for this.